au moins une minute. Who is going to call out the one minute mark and we'll be into the final 60 seconds. Top à zéro moins une minute. All that's left to explain is the ignition sequence. Here's what to watch for. The sequence begins when the cryogenic arms, you saw them a moment ago, they'll swing back at minus five seconds. At zero, the DDO will call out allumage, which is ignition, and the main engine will light up. But we don't lift off, not quite yet. You got to count to seven for seven seconds. The computers are checking the performance in the main engine while it's burning on the, gr on the ground. They check it twice to confirm it. Better to do this on the pad than once we're airborne in case they want to change anything or stop the procedures. If all is well, then and only then, the computers give the order to light the boosters. You listen to the DDO call out the final 10 seconds. A tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage de camp. Allumage EAP, décollage. Well, the cryogenic arm swung open right on time, triggering the ignition sequence. Did you count to seven? At 18.05 local, right on time, Ariane 5 began her mission, lifting off perfectly, thundering off the ground here in French Guiana, beginning mission number six for this year, carrying UTELSAT 21B and Star 1 C3. She's rising into the night sky here above French Guiana. Fine shots, as always, beautifully impressive for the people on the observation sites and on the balconies here and around the base. Right now, Ariane weighs 774 tons, 774 tons at liftoff. She's burning five tons of fuel every second, two and a half tons in each booster. Behind me, you can hear the DDO saying everything is all right. The main stage is also at the same time burning another 300 kilos of fuel per second. Ariane now following the program in the onboard computer, which is in the vehicle equipment bay in the second stage, which gives all the orders, including stage separations, which we'll soon begin to see. We're in the first of four flight phases. The first three are powered. The last is not. We'll describe each in turn and in detail, so you can follow Arian as she heads east across the Atlantic, where she'll separate the satellites after having passed over Africa. The flight phases, the first of flight phase now, the main engine and the boosters. The boosters are going to burn another 10 seconds, roughly, and you'll see them flame out on the screen. Then the main engine burns alone. Then the upper stage burns alone. That looks like the flame out of the boosters. And the DDO has called out the confirmation of that. You can see the two boosters on the upper part of the screen and the, yes, the orange uh, flames of the two boosters. And the white flame is the main engine, the composite, of Ariane continuing to burn.